So let's talk about the winners of this combine. First up, Isaiah Simmons. Isaiah Simmons, the linebacker from Clemson, he literally only ran a 40 at the combine. But um, with the size that he was, playing linebacker, running a 4-3-9-40, um, yeah, that's the, your, your winner. Why did you decide to do that, Isaiah Simmons? You absolutely obliterated the combine. Um, the last time I can think of somebody doing this um, was Brian Shazier at his pro day where he ran like a 4-2, which was just ridiculous. So, um, you know, Isaiah Simmons looking like he can play inside linebacker, outside linebacker, safety, DB, whatever you need him to do. Uh, I think he's exactly what the NFL is looking for in a versatile defender. And um, I think that now he has solidified his spot. That if there's no trades, the number four spot, New York Giants, take Isaiah Simmons. I think that now he has propelled himself over the tackles that the Giants would likely have been looking at. Next up, Tristan Wurst, the offensive tackle from Iowa. Uh, Tristan Wurst absolutely obliterated this combine, not only with the physical you know, skills, the broad jumps, the verticals, all, all of that, but uh, he just simply did great at the actual drills too which i think is very important because i thought i thought a lot of people got very high on just the the verticals and the broad jumps of uh, tristan worfs and makai beckton um that they actually didn't care about their actual drills and you don't really care about what an offensive tackle is 40 is he's never running 40 yards with that being said makai beckton also did very very well um, but that's again on his drills as well but i mean the five one but weighing like 360 pounds um, is ridiculous. I, that's, that's insane. Another two linemen that did really, really well in this is Ezra Cleveland, who is one of the cleanest in the drills from Boise State, as well as Matt Hennessy, the center, and Nick Harris, also playing center at Washington. Willie Gay Jr. was one of the guys that I, I did not know coming into this combine, and now I got to go look at his tape because the Mississippi State linebacker absolutely killed it. Um, there's also Denzel Mims. Since the college football season has ended, Denzel Mims may be the biggest winner out of the entire thing as he absolutely killed the senior bowl, probably having the best senior bowl out of anybody, and then absolutely killing the combine. Another wide receiver, one that I did know, one that I was very happy for because I loved his tape, was Justin Jefferson from LSU. I thought he had terrific tape. I was really, really high on him. And the thing coming into the combine with Justin Jefferson is, did he have the speed to play in the NFL? Uh, yeah, he ran a 4.43, so he's got the speed. Another guy that's got the speed is Chase Claypool from Notre Dame. Chase Claypool weighing 235 pounds while being 6'4". Um, that time has only been done at that size and weight uh, one other time, and that was Calvin Johnson since 2003. So um, that's really nice area to be in. That's a really nice name to be with. On the defensive front, uh, C.J. Henderson, I thought he had probably the best combine out of any cornerback, but also another great cornerback was Darnay Holmes from UCLA. And then there was Kyle Duger and Jeremy Chin, uh, the safeties. And then also Antoine Winfield Jr. Also, he was maybe the best safety of all of the on-field drills. Also on the defensive end, Neville Gallimore from Oklahoma did really well. And on the offensive end, tight end Albert Okwebenon did very, very well and had an insane 40, as well as Cole Komet. And um, on the running back end, it was Jonathan Taylor absolutely killing it from Wisconsin and Cam Akers killing it from Florida State. But in the end, maybe a, a top three to four winner, maybe even number one, you could argue, from the combine. At least for me, I was super high on the guy. And then watching his combine, I think that he created a lot of noise for himself was quarterback Jalen Hurts from Oklahoma. I think Jalen Hurts, for me, he's now my fourth quarterback. I've been really low on Herbert and really high on Hurts. I think that everything that Hurts has shown me, he's shown me that he, I mean, sure, he's a project. But outside of... Joe Burrow and Tua Tonga Valoa, you're probably going to get projects. I mean, look, I'm, I'm the guy that's singing Jordan Love's praises, but still, he has still something. There's still some kind of worry with Jordan Love. And I think that the, the same thing's going on with Jalen Hurts, but so many people are just willing to throw Hurts to the side because he wasn't better than Tua Tonga Valoa. That's okay. Tua Tonga Valoa is it, probably my top five players in this entire draft. We didn't kill Baker Mayfield because he got beat out by Pat Mahomes at Texas Tech. Now to my losers. Number one, Mitchell Wilcox, USF, um, the tight end. He he had a he had a poor combine. Just straight up, he had he had a bad combine. I'm gonna be a little hard on the quarterbacks here. Um, Jake Fromm. Uh, he could have blew some people away and could have put himself into that conversation of the maybe the quarterback three, maybe that high, uh, maybe quarterback three or four. And uh, 
I don't think he did. I just I, there was a lot of worry about his arm strength, and that's still a worry. Uh, Jacob Eason, on the other hand, is also a loser for me, and he had no worries of arm strength. He had worry of placement. And I don't think that he did anything to help himself out either. He was throwing high balls left and right. Brian Lewerke, I thought, was one of the worst quarterbacks from the combine, as well as Shea Patterson. Another scenario where he could have really shown his greatness is Trey Adams. Trey Adams, the offensive tackle from Washington, a few years ago was seen as a huge can't-miss prospect. And now, I mean, he may be the seventh or eighth tackle taken in this entire draft. On the offensive end, we also have tight end Jared Pinckney from Vanderbilt, who had one of the worst uh, combines for the tight end, as well as Juwan Jennings, the wide receiver from Tennessee, and Michael Hasty, the running back from Baylor. Some guys I didn't think that helped themselves in the safety position was Jalen Elliott, the safety from Notre Dame, as well as Daniel Thomas, the safety from Auburn, which I just talked about in my last video. Um, and then last, I would say AJ Epinesa. Um, and again, when I say that these guys are losers and Epinesa is one of the it doesn't mean that I think that they're going to be bad players. I think AJ Epinesa is still going to be a very good player in the NFL. I just think that on that day, he didn't have his day. That's it. That's the entire, I'm done. I'm done with the combine here. I'm out. Um, it's, it's full. Um, again, like I said in my last video, I'm thankful that uh, it was put up as one of the top searches and stuff. And um, I gained some fans from doing this combine. So thank you guys for watching. And if you guys haven't watched any of the other videos, go check out my more in-depth combine coverage of every single position. I just did every single day. So I did four videos um, going through all the positions and my winners and losers. Comment down below who is your guys' winners and losers. Maybe I missed somebody. Maybe I was too high on somebody. Maybe I was too low on somebody. So you guys let me know. And I'll see you in the next one. Deuce.